If your anxiety and negative thinking has left you feeling hopeless, you are here on purpose and I have a message especially for you. I'm Bridget Hart, coach, business consultant, and blossoming mystic. I hope that you enjoy the content I'm about to bring you today and don't forget to subscribe down below, like the video, and leave me a comment because this is all about interacting with you. As I was developing the heart habits, I came across a verse that said, love always hopes. I had personally encountered already many times where love specifically had left me feeling especially hopeless. Before I dive into anything today, I want to address that if you are feeling hopeless, First off, I understand, I've been there before. Secondly, you matter. That's why I'm here, that's why I'm creating this video, because you matter. Spirit wants you to know you matter, and there is help available. I'm flashing on the screen right now the National Suicide Hotline. Call, text, do anything you need to do to get help if you need help, okay? We want you here, I want you here. And today's message is hopefully going to be something that will give you some specific steps to take to cultivate more hope in your life intentionally. It's a skill that you can actually learn, practice, and get better at. But it turns out that hope scientifically speaking, is also an outcome of practicing the nine other heart habits. I didn't know that when I started this process, but it seemed quite fitting that that's how it worked out. So the heart habit is hope. It's the 10th, the final heart habit, and the mantra that goes with it is, I maintain or find hope even when it's not easy. It's easy to say, oh, just find hope, just hold on to hope, and that's all there is to it. But I know personally, I have been in places in my life where I could not have found hope if I wanted to. I did want to, and I couldn't find it anywhere. I had to tap into practical tools is what I had to do. I had to tap into things that were going to be safe for me, that were based on my system that I created and that I'm here sh to share with you today. And fortunately, they worked. They got me through those times, they helped me move through it successfully and get to the other side. And that doesn't mean that I never go through times of hopelessness or anxiety or overwhelming difficult thoughts. However, it means I do have tools to help me get through it and to find hope again and to cultivate and build more hope in my life overall. So I talk about this this way because hope has been studied by scientists. They've studied what it is and how it works and what it does for people. And what they have found is that hope is actually a thinking process that contains a trilogy of goals, pathways, and agency. That's the technical terminology, right? The thing is, if it's a thinking process, it's something that we can apply for ourselves, right? It, if we can think consciously, if we can become conscious of our thoughts, we can apply any process we want to them. And so this thinking process is a trilogy of goals, pathways, and agency. So what does that mean for you? Number one is goals. It means know thyself, I like to say, right? This refers back to heart habit number one self, which is knowing and understanding who you are, what matters to you, what are your boundaries, what are your visions. It pulls in a little bit of number seven, record, where I've talked about putting your visions down in written, audible, art format, any kind of format that you can figure out. And so the first element of hope is to have goals of your own, to take the time to know yourself and understand what is it you want, okay? So if you're finding yourself hopeless, number one, think about what is it that you want? What are your goals? Number two is pathways, okay? And pathways refers to how you can access those goals or what the ways, the pathways are for you to accomplish or manifest those goals. What is unique about this part of the research is that it is not based on, you know, pie in the sky dreaming and fantasy land. It's based on what are the 
realistic pathways? What are the real ways that exist in reality for you to manifest and accomplish those goals? So from a scientific perspective, it's about facing the truth, which is heart habit number two, and facing the situation head on, not blind positive thinking. That's not what hope is. The third part of the hope trilogy process is agency. So agency refers to your actual ability to travel those pathways and accomplish those goals, okay? And there's two parts that I like to break that agency down into. The first is the internal part of our agency or our ability to accomplish those. So when I talk about our internal agency, I'm talking about our thoughts, right? Heart habit number four. A lot of times we like to blame our ability to hope or not hope on outside circumstances like, oh, there's this many people in a movement now, so now I have hope or, or not, right? But the truth is that the science shows that our hope has to do with our thoughts, how we align them towards our goals, and how we endure inevitable difficulties, right? So endure, we just talked about that last week. That's the ninth heart habit. So by consistently practicing the heart habits, you will find that you have the capacity to access hope because you will have developed some tools that allow you to tap into, okay, what is the goal? Even though these outside circumstances look like this, what is my goal? What is the realistic situation? What do I have around me? And how can I move forward in this situation in a way that will still advance me towards that goal, even if ever so slightly, even if it's just in staying alive for another day. The final crucial, most crucial piece of hope, and it's kind of the piece about hope that differentiates itself from all the other habits and ties you in. So when I talked about pathways and agency, what the piece that comes into play there is now your community or your connection to the outside world, to the world outside of your body, okay? It's in connecting to our community that we really find out where the pathways are to accomplish or manifest our goals, right? We don't have all those pathways within ourselves, right? We need things and supports and people and resources in our community to help us understand and, and, and utilize those pathways. And as we understand what those pathways are, we can understand more our agency or our ability to travel those pathways to accomplish those goals, right? Because now we understand what our team looks like as well. What our what our partnership, what our network, what our net looks like. I love Pamela Slim's new book, The Widest Net, right? Because in the widest net, we all catch plenty for all of us, right? We have a great big net of people. And as we're connecting to one another, our hope can rise. And it's easier to have hope because we can tap into even reserves from other people when that's really what we need. All the other heart habits play into it. If you really look at them, you know, nonverbals as we are, you know, being more conscious of our nonverbals, we're able to develop relationships with other people where they have space to be themselves we have space to be ourselves they are trusting relationships they are edifying relationships that build each of us as we are part of them together when you're struggling with the habit of hope you'll probably find yourself feeling really resigned to the circumstances around you and pessimistic and worst case scenario hopeless if that's the case keep in mind there is help see below if you're not quite there and you just wanna work on developing this habit, these steps will help you. Implementing the whole heart habits will help you. I'm gonna share a video next week that gives the big overview of the entire tool, of the entire framework, and I hope it's helpful to you. I hope it is something that you're able to use to increase hope in your life because when you have practiced this habit consistently and begun to build this habit into your life, what you're gonna feel is, optimistically expectant regardless of the circumstances you're just going to be able to walk around knowing and understanding the truth and devastation of what we're dealing and still knowing surely that better things are coming and that 
we are going to work together for our better good together. So um, I hope that I'm able to spark some hope for you in this. I hope, I hope. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I will be back next week with an overview of the whole heart habits and um, the framework that you can use. It'll include a PDF you can download. You can see it for yourself. You can use it. You can print it out, fold it up, put it in your back pocket, use it for yourself anywhere you want to go. In the meantime, if you have any thoughts, leave them below in a comment, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will see you next week. I love you.